Hey everyone, I hope you're well and you and your families are safe. On this video we're gonna see the Storm plugin from Yanobox which is available from FX Factory and you will have a link in the description of this video down below for you to get it. This is a plugin where you can create 3D or 8D surfaces and also um, elements that you can use inspired from the nature like uh, fire, wind, water, etc. In this video I'm gonna cover the example that you saw in the beginning with the water throwing, but if you want me to cover more of the elements that this plugin has to offer, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go now into Final Cut Pro 10 and see it in action. Let's start and see how we're gonna create this effect in Final Cut Pro 10 using the Yanobox Storm from FX Factory. We have our clip, the first thing that we want to do is to find where we're gonna stop to zoom in and then create the water effect. So I'm playing from here, I'm pressing spacebar here, one frame to the left, and I'm gonna press B on my keyboard and I'm gonna blade this. So this is the section where I want the beginning to the start of the water effect begin. We're keeping this section here because we're gonna need it for nodes later, you're gonna see. We're opening here, we're going into the generators, Yanobox Storm, and as you can see, we have plenty of different effects, 3D animation effects that we can use with uh, use of nature, like uh, wind, we have storm, we have, uh, to be honest, this is not going to be a video that can cover all of the amazing things that you can do with that plugin, but as soon as you download it and you browse into all of this, you're going to see that you can play with keyframes, with sizing and different colors and shapes that you can create log animations, you can create uh, different effects on your videos, because as you can see here we have uh, storm effects, we have, let's see here, we have like a tornado effect. We have strange liquid creatures effects that we can use also for music videos. We have this amazing storm fire collection that replicates fire. Animate in flowers that you can change and you can adjust to your own images. For now I will go here and I will drag the storm liquid column and I'm gonna place it right next to the clip so we're gonna have something like this and now the magic begins we select this we go into the inspector panel as you can see here on the right on the settings of the storm we have the animation we have camera from here we can select different presets that we want for the effect but we select it here from the library window we have the animation the camera the transform geometry fractal noise noise subtractor, noise effector, color, surface lighting, fresnel, environment, fog, background, rendering. Now, let's focus first on the background and on the rendering. First, what we want to do is to have an environment map, as you can see here. That's why we kept here, we're gonna click here and we're gonna select the environment from here. And apply clip. We go into the background now for background, we will select the environment map. And if you don't have a very fast machine, get ready to have a little bit of patience or even work with proxies because this is very hard, you know, working thing for Final Cut Pro 10. So you're going to need a lot of patience for rendering. So we have the environment map selected and next we go to environment and on the environment map, we will select the load environment map that we have clicked to get the environment on two steps before. When I first downloaded the plugin, I was thinking why I have this gray on my background. I checked on the color, I checked on, you know, all the other settings. It's very simple, it's very easy. You just need to pop up the saturation of the environment and it will become the environment as we know that we had for reference. We're dragging the environment saturation to 1 and then we can uh, control the blur, so let's set it to 2% and here you can see that we can set the environment amount to 100% so we can have a full environment on our details on the background and we have a lot of different 
settings like the shading, the environment map, the exposure, the contrast, let's leave it as it is for now for sakes of the tutorial and let's check in which state are we at the moment. We go from here to here. Let's continue now, we have the ability to change the field of view in our camera, so for example if I set the field of view to 40, you will see that I'm zooming into the water, if I set the field of view to 70, it's zooming out. As a note here for the environment, we can uh, have an image, we can have a video and also we can have a 360 video from a cameras like the Insta360 ONE X or ONE R. This is a very interesting part of this plugin and of course we can change the geometry like we want a Killinger or we want a Taurus for the water. We can uh, change the size in the transform controls, uh, the camera that we already discussed and what is very important here is that you can set keyframes so you can change the size of all of the parameters and of course all the parameters at all so you can make internal animations within the animation and of course you have the animation to that. Now as you notice here in order to make that work even better we see that when you select the environment map the video starts from the beginning and we want it to be they continue from here when the water drops. So what I'm gonna do right now is, if I'm satisfied with the results, I will select this, I will create a new compound clip, as you can see here, and now I have the ability to blade to the spot where I want to continue. So let's say I want it to continue from here. I will press B on my keyboard, I'm gonna blade this, I'm going to delete this, let me close this, and I'm going to have a continuous on my footage, so from here I'm going to the continue in here. Now how can I make this pop up and be more uh, precise? I'm going to have to go here, and I'm going to go and zoom in, so for example from the connection I will count one two, three, four, five frames and I can either go to scale all set a keyframe and zoom in or I can use the add motion plugin that you will find in a link in the description of this video down below. It's again from FX Factory and it's the plugin that I always use when I want to do zoom in, zoom out on my timeline. Let's do it now with the scale all on the transform tools, adding a keyframe here going to the end and change the scale. Let's go again so we can add a keyframe to the position as well. Add a keyframe to the position again, going to the end. and we're gonna match the water to be as we're gonna show it on the next step. And let's check it out now. What do you think? I'm waiting your comments in the comment section down below. Before closing, as I said, we have a lot of uh, different settings. Uh, one very important thing, if you want to have your footage to be as high definition as possible, you change the quality from medium quality to high quality, very high quality, extreme quality, let's set it very high, and you click in Super Sabling, when you click on Super Sabling, it's gonna take more time to render, but you're gonna have more details. But I left that for the end because I advise you to not uh, get all the delay when you're working with your video. As you already saw, this plugin has a lot of potentials and a lot of features that it has to offer and you need to download it, you need to work with it and uh, see all the different elements that you can create for your videos. And the most exciting part about this plugin is that you can do it all inside Final Cut Pro 10. Remember, I had told you in the past that 
As time goes by, Final Cut Pro 10 eventually gets plugins with effects that we usually uh, were seeing only in uh, programs like After Effects. Also, I want to say a huge thank you to FX Factory for supporting this channel. If you like this video, you know what to do, all this great YouTube stuff. And if you have any questions, I'm waiting them in the comment section down below. If you want to see a different video, we have one choice here, one choice here, here, here. They will uh, be right here. So it's going to be nice to click on these videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio Takas and I will see you in the next video.